have the honor of speaking a bit more about family funds. I wanted to let you know that as of today, we have 45 active family funds. And been fortunate in the last couple of weeks to receive several inquiries about uh, setting up some more. So we've spoken about the importance of uh, family funds to our mission. This year, your overwhelming support and generosity has made the 2022 Outsmarting Osteosacoma Awards beyond what we could have ever imagined giving. So on behalf of MIB agents, Thank you for your support you have shown to us, and uh, I am going to turn it over to Christina and get these awards started. Hi, so, um, this is lots of fun. This is super fun to do, this panel. And um, before we even get into this great news, I have some other great news to share, which is the winner of our survey raffle, um, which is Alana Church. Um, so, Alana. <laughs> Hi everyone, and sorry I could not be there at the MIB Symposium this year. I want to thank the MIB for supporting our work on assessing combination therapies to improve immune-related treatments for osteosarcoma by targeting both intrinsic and extrinsic sarcoma cell features. We are excited to use our extensive inventory of high-risk immune-competent mouse models of osteosarcoma our laboratory has developed and characterized over the past several years to address two main goals. The first goal will be testing new therapeutic combinations that can quickly be translated to the clinical care of our osteosarcoma patients. And the second goal is to use our innovative models to gain important cellular and molecular insights into mechanisms of resistance and sensitivity to immune therapies for osteosarcoma. Overall, this will improve our understanding of osteosarcoma biology and lead to better improvement and better immune related treatments approaches for our patients. Again, we are extremely excited that MIB is supporting our research and we look forward to presenting our studies at next year's MIB conference. I hope to see everyone there next year and thank you. going to be studying um, functional adhesion kinase inhibition to improve water sartan, sunitinib, immunotherapy, and metastatic osteosarcoma. So congratulations. <laughs> and have a great time. Um, and I should say, if you guys all want to stay up here, because we, of course, are not going to pass up the opportunity to take lots of photos with our family funds. And actually, I should say all the family funds in the room after we're done here, if you don't mind just heading out to the vestibule, because we'd like to get group photo with all 
all of the recipients that you you made uh, this possible and funded. So thanks. If you want to also just hang out here. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that strong, but. <laughs> yeah, 100 k weighs a lot. So. Thank you. All right, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then um, our next recipient, um, also from Colorado, um, but uh, from University of Colorado, Michael Leibowitz. Um, and he is going to be studying altering the tumor microenvironment to increase epitope spreading and augment chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy for metastatic osteosarcoma. Congratulations. Mike. Thank you very much. Right, and then um, and then we have um, uh, some young investigators. And actually, the really great thing this year, and was a wonderful opportunity um, because of our family funds, is that we have co-branded awards this year. So co-branded awards are where um, a family fund actually has raised enough funds to 100% sponsor that award. And so um, all our young investigator awards this year are sponsored and co-branded by a family fund. And um, so Dr. Van Heist is one of our young investigators from Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. Um, she is going to be modulating TGF beta signaling in the tumor microenvironment as an effective therapy for osteosarcoma. And her award is because of Charlotte, because of Charlotte Murdoff. And her fund has been um, co branded and sponsored with the Murdoff family. And so I'd like to give the Murdoffs an opportunity to say a few words too. Um, Kristen, we are so happy to support your work, and um, we know it's exactly what Charlotte would have wanted us to do, and um, at a time when she was really out of options, you and Alex helped give us some extra hope, and um, we're grateful for that, and we hope that um, it's so close to um, being able to provide to other patients, so we hope that your project um, we'll offer that hope to other kids as well. So thank you so much. So much money, we don't know where to put it all. Okay, um, so our next um, young invader, young investigator recipient is Eunice Lopez Fuentes from UCSF, and, um, and she'll talk actually more about this tomorrow. We actually do have some time tomorrow where these guys will be able to share what they're going to be working on. But um, her study is two epigenically distinct cellular states in osteo, um, and how they're defined by cluster specific set of pioneer transcription factors and show differential drug response. And so. Um, uh, Dr. Lopez Fuentes' award is also because of Charlotte. Um, and um, so likewise, I know you guys have something that you'd like to share and say. Thank you. Uh, Eunice, we are so excited to fund all of your work at, at uh, UCSF. And um, in this novel approach for better understanding osteosarcoma. Uh, we're also really thrilled to invest again in the Sweet Cordero Lab in their very hard work in fighting osteosarcoma. So thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, and then our last award um, is for Dr. John Ligon um, from University of Florida. And Dr. Ligon is going to be using RNA nanoparticle vaccines to overcome the immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment of canine osteosarcoma. And it's my like immense pleasure to award this to you because of Dylan. Um, so Bert and I, sorry, would like to, we're just um, super excited for you and for this promising work. And um, it's really our honor to fund your work. And Dylan loved dogs, so we would have thought this was really cool um, <laughs> that you were helping dogs. And um, so thank you, and, and congratulations.
Yeah, well, one of the things that really excited us about Dr. Ligon's uh, research is the promise that he has shown in uh, treating canine, ca treating dogs. And because we've seen a straight line kind of uh, you know, path from success in dogs into uh, getting into uh, human clinical trials. So I, I see tremendous pro uh, promise in that. So really rooting for you, excited to see what your results will be. warned I wouldn't get through this day without crying <laughs> and everyone that told me that you were absolutely correct the strength that you all show um, is just inspiring to me so um, you guys were right and I don't admit that very much but you were right I cried <laughs> um, I want to take this moment to thank all our panelists today um, they took the time to share their expertise and their knowledge with us and I uh, from what I understand, we have a lot left tomorrow. So can everyone give our panelists a round of applause for today? <laughs> All right, we have uh, some activities for the evening if you haven't heard. So uh, I'm just gonna over them quickly because I know everyone wants to get to them. Uh, BTG will be hosting a cocktail hour in Catalina West. Um, they're providing non-alcoholic beverage, but there is a cash bar available if you so suit. Uh, they will also uh, was sent to you a pre-conference survey. They're going to have the uh, you're going to have the opportunity to go over with them some of those results and some discussions, which uh, I'm sure will even bring uh, some more insight for all of us. And dinner. Mm. So <laughs> dinner will be at the Aragon Lawn, and it's from 6:30 to 8:30. Um, and it'll meeting immediately follow the cocktail hour, which is 5.30 to 6.30. So for those that need, it, it is kind of a walk. Uh, so for those that need a little help getting down there, uh, the hotel has been generous enough to give to us a shuttle. So uh, it begins at 6 p.m. in the lobby right next to the bell, the bellhop uh, desk. And they will start bringing everyone back at 8.15. So. Thank you all very much. Um, wonderful experience, and I cannot wait to see you all again. I have to scoot tomorrow. Um, but thank you for making my first conference, um, and thank you just for helping me learn so much. Now, it's time to have a little bit of fun. So, everybody, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>